So today we're going to be trying out a new concealer from the drugstore. This is the Flawless Luminous Light Infused Concealer Anti-Fatigue and Radiance Booster. So I bought the shade Fair, which is the second to lightest shade available. This is available in very fair, fair, light to medium, and medium to dark. So it's only available in four shades, which is a little unfortunate. And I picked this up for $15. So if you're new here, this is my series where I wear a tested concealer I've never tried before. If you're in the mood to binge watch concealer reviews, I'll link my playlist in the description box below or you can click right up there. So let's check out some of the claims on Marcel's website. Discover our new luminous concealer in the flawless family. Hydrates and smooths imperfections and dark circles, enriched with caffeine for energized effect. Peptides help diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Soft cushion applicator makes application easy. So this concealer is also hypoallergenic, ophthalmologist tested, dermatologist tested, paraben free, and oil free. So if you're enjoying this video while you're watching it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you wanna know more about the new Marcel Luminous Concealer and how it applies and wears throughout the day, don't go anywhere, just keep watching. So I'm also filming a review today for the Marcel Flawless Luminous Foundation, which is why my face looks like this. So I'm not sure which review I'll be posting first, but when the foundation review is up, I'll be linking it in the eye right up there. So the packaging comes in this little pen light applicator. It kind of reminds me of uh, the L'Oreal Super Blendable Concealer that came out earlier this year, which has me a little concerned because, um, okay, if you look at this applicator, it looks like you would think that there would be product in the entire tube. But the L'Oreal Concealer, when you start clicking the pen up, you realize there's only that much product in it. So it has me thinking that this concealer is exactly the same. I mean, look at that. That is a teeny tiny amount of product. There's like barely an inch there. So this concealer is light infused, anti-fatigue and radiance booster, hydrates and smooths imperfections and dark circles, which is perfect for me because my skin tends to be on the drier side. So my issues are I have like pretty bad dark circles. I end up with like little dry patches in very odd areas that you can't necessarily see when I don't have makeup on, but end up being magnified the moment I apply concealer. So a lot of concealers I can't wear because they tend to be drying on my under eyes and amplify those little dry patches. How do you, there's a button that you press, which is weird. Here it's starting. I don't want to press too many times because I just don't want to be overflowed with a volcano of product. And that's what it looks like there. Okay, we'll start with that. We can always go back and add more. I don't know, this shade might be a little bit dark for me. So there is the eye with concealer and this is the eye without. It's not bad. It's not a thick, heavy concealer, but it does a good job at diffusing the, uh, the dark circles. Ooh, that eye needs a little bit of help. So we're gonna give it some. Come on, concealer, work your magic. I wasn't sure about the radiance thing at first, but I'm kind of liking it. It definitely does brighten up both of my eyes. And although this is a bit of a thinner consistency, um, it does a really good job at canceling out dark circles. Think up close, I mean, I don't see um, any dryness being emphasized. So I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup and I will check in with you a little later on and let you know how this concealer has been holding out. So the time is 4.09. So this is what my under eyes are doing so far. I don't know, like look at that. It has creased all through there. So I don't know what's going on with this one. They claim it's hydrating. I don't see anything hydrating about it. I mean, look, it has like literally sucked all the moisture from underneath my eyes. So strangely, I don't have any inner corner dryness or anything happening, which is unusual for me. Normally when uh, a concealer is causing that kind of dehydration under my eyes, I get like dry patches forming in the corner and flaking and for whatever reason I don't have anything like that happening. Definitely not one of the better concealers that I've tried. Yeah, that just looks, that's just horrible. I don't even, yeah, get away from the camera. So that is where we're at right now. I will check in with you guys later on tonight. So the time is 8.53. So since the five hour mark, Everything really wasn't looking that great. My eyes were looking dehydrated and gross. I still don't have any dry patches in the inner corners of my eye, which can sometimes be a problem area for me. It's this area right here and this area right here. Two things are happening. 
This concealer is creasing like crazy and it's also sucking all the hydration out of my under eyes. So it's basically amplifying my crow's feet. That's the only way to describe it. And so I am going to zoom in and show you this crazy disaster up close. That's awful. Yeah, look how creased I am there. It's all, it's just broken apart and settled into lines and they're just completely magnified. So needless to say, I am disappointed in this one because the coverage for this was great. The dark circles are completely still covered up, but I mean, there's no way I can go around looking like that. So another thing that seriously annoys me about this one is the amount of product they give you for the price. That teeny tiny little amount was $15. That's ridiculous to me. I've purchased concealers for $5 in huge honking tubes that do a better job than this. So this one is one that I would not reach for again. It's definitely a no for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.